Well, there's been some news from the Botanical Gardens at Stellenbosch University. It's about a plant that only flowers every 15 years ago. It's flowering now. But that's not all. While it flowers, it makes a smell like a rotting corpse. I didn't get this off Wikipedia. This actually happens. The plant does, that does this is called the Titan Arum Lily. You can actually start to see pictures of this really unique plant now. Dr. Wange Nglise is a senior horticulturalist at the University of Stellenbosch. Dr. Nglise, good afternoon to you. Really appreciate the time. This is hugely rare. Why does this plant have the only flower once every 15 years? Yeah, so this flower actually, uh, it's uh, more basically coming from the Indonesia in a small place called a, uh, Sandra. So it's indigenous there. And then what it do, does is it becomes dormant. So the dormant, it's where it stores the, the energy to the comb of the flower, uh, of, of the plant. So what happened is it do the recycling, you know, uh, of producing the leaf. And the leaf can grow up to one to two meters. That's the leaf of it. And then uh, after some time, seven years, and then it gets to start to produce a new flower. And then that cycle will never happen again, will happen after six to ten years. Is it quite rare for a plant to only flower, you know, every 15 years or so, to take so long? <laughs> yeah, correct. And what makes it more rare is that uh, it's also the flower lasts uh, 24 to 36 hours. And after that, the flower closes down and then starts to wilt, which is it's dying back. And then while it's dying back, it's producing the, the, the fruit, the fruit that will be eaten by the birds, and then after that it becomes uh, dispersed to another area where it starts to grow, you see. So what's also happening within the flower is that it becomes endangered in the indigenous where it's coming from due to the uh, deforestation and then the new vegetation of plum oil, especially on the forest where it is found, you see. So now here in the Potem garden is because we basically, the, the, the garden that actually do the conservation of critical endangered species all over the world and also more importantly, uh, South African biodiversity too. And the smell that it makes, can you describe that? Why does it smell like a rotting corpse? <laughs> yeah, so it, 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 it's a chemical of the plants that are in there uh, which are more uh, attractive to the pollinators. So their pollinators are uh, actually the... Uh, the, the, the flies, you know, that you see around there. But it's, it, 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 for us here, we only have one flower. So there won't be any of the pollination that is happening. So there are basically some compounds and chemicals that are happening inside the plant, you know, after so long it stores that energy that is getting from the, uh, the, the leaf of the plant. Um, and I mean, is it quite rare? You say it only rarely grows in one place in Indonesia. But for a plant to only flower every 15 years means that it can't reproduce very often. I mean, it must be quite limited. Yes, correct, uh, correct, which is also in demand uh, with most within the, 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 the botanical gardens and also the plant collectors, and which make it also critical rare for the people. So for us here, uh, we have like a favorable condition where it grows uh, in the tropical house, and the temperature there within the, temper the, the tropical house must match exactly where the plant is actually growing, you know. So which is the, the, the temperature goes up to 36 Celsius degrees, up to 40 Celsius degrees, you know, for it to, for that plant to actually be able to, uh, to grow and do its recycling fully. Um, does it need other plants near it to reproduce or does it just do it on its own? No, it's do it on its own. It's do it on its own. It's on its own. Uh, it's in the pot. It's not even in the ground. It's in the pot. And then there are some plants that are around it, uh, grow together also. There are different type of species that are found in the tropical areas. Wanga Nlise, thank you very much indeed. Really appreciate the time. Senior horticulturalist at the Stellenbosch University Botanical Gardens.